We will guide you through a few simple steps to set up your Airtel audio router for your first use or after a reset. In this video, we will go through the process of changing the Wi-Fi name, password, SSID and more. So let's get into the video. First, ensure your router is set up correctly. This is usually done by an agent sent to you from Airtel, but if you are doing this yourself, here is how everything should be connected. First, you want to remove the screws under the outdoor unit. Your device comes with a 4G SIM card, so you just have to plug it into the SIM slot. Some devices are eSIM enabled, so if you don't have a physical SIM, then yours is probably eSIM. Next, plug in the data cable. The cable is white in color. I'm doing this on my table, so that's why I'm using this cable instead. Then you want to screw it back. For a better signal, it is good to mount the outdoor unit at a higher level in your room or outside for an even better signal. The other end of the cable is then connected to your indoor unit. Just plug into the first RJ45 port. Now you can plug the power adapter into the socket and then into the indoor unit. And that powers up the router. The ODU router does not have a power button, so the only way to switch it on or off is through the socket. You can also power the router with this power pack, or what most people call a power bank. It has a button to turn on and off. When it's on, you see this LED light up. You can also plug in the power adapter so that you can charge the battery while in use. Now that your router is connected properly, Wait for like a minute. During this time, both your indoor and outdoor units powers up and then connects to the available network, that is 4G or 5G. Then go to your phone or computer and go to Wi-Fi. I'll be using the computer for this tutorial because of the bigger screen. Now you see two Airtel devices here. One says 5G and the other with no 5G. And that is because this router is a dual frequency band. So the two logins you are seeing are 5 GHz and 2.4 GHz frequency. So you can log in to anyone. Then for the password, you want to check the bottom of the indoor unit. So I'm just going to type that in here. And now the device is connected and we can start surfing the net. But there are some default settings we need to change. To do that, you want to go to the admin dashboard of your router which is where you can change some default settings and interact with the router. You can access the admin dashboard by going to this URL, 192.168.1.1. I will leave a link in the description below and you can also find it on your router. You need to log in with the default, the username is admin and the password is also admin, all in lowercase. Now the first you want to do is you want to go to Wi-Fi settings and then 5G Wi-Fi settings. So we want to enable 5G optimization. This will restart our router. So what this does is that it will eliminate the 2.4 GHz frequency bad login we saw earlier. So that's where we can only see one login. This makes sure we are always logged into the 5 GHz, which is the stronger network, but it doesn't travel far. As a result, you don't have to separate logins. So now we want to go to the Wi-Fi settings again and then 5G Wi-Fi settings. So now we want to change the SSID which is just the name of the Wi-Fi. I'll call this Victor's Wi-Fi. And then I want to change the password. So you scroll down and click on save. So this again will restart the Wi-Fi. And that's where we can now see the Wi-Fi as the name we change it to. And also we can now use the new password to connect to the Wi-Fi. So lastly, we want to log into the admin dashboard again and this time we want to navigate to management followed by system settings. Here we can change the password to our admin dashboard. Alright, so we can change the username. The username remains admin but we can change the password. So just enter the old password which is admin and then you want to enter your new password. Then click save. So this will log you out. So you can log in again with your new password. So that's how to set up your ODU smart box router. 
you can do many other things from this dashboard like changing the network settings but i don't advise that because you could mess it up you can also reset your device to the factory settings you can view sms you can subscribe and a lot more from the admin dashboard but what i often do here is to restart the device so anytime the network is not connecting because this happens from time to time luckily for me my android phone used to display this error when it happens so that's where we know the device is refusing to connect to the internet so when that happens i just come here to reboot the device and wait for a minute and everything works fine i hope you find the video helpful consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel